Cardi. She's got chips now. What is that? Yeah. I kind of got like food poisoning. 1992, Ronald McDonald bought all of the city of St. Louis. Hi right, everyone, it is time for part two of our St. Louis trip. But first off, I got the brand new Coca-Cola. It's the limited edition Starlight. Apparently to every single person, it tastes a little different. You remember like that dress, is it blue, is it yellow? People can't figure out what it tastes like. So we'll be trying this in a little bit. But first off, let's go back to St. Louis, everyone. Okay, the new restaurant of the day, we're going to Rosalita's Cantina. It's right here. It's got some nice neon on it. So next to the kegs was the bathroom. You know, I had to go inspect that there was no lock on the stall. And yes, yeah, somebody's trying to Shawshank out of the stall, it looked like. We've gone upstairs. Our feet are covered in cheese. They're like super sticky. And um, now there's a mystery. <laughs> there's uh, just a random closet that's open. I don't know what's going on. There's uh, the cleaning bucket, in case anything happens. Wait, where are you bringing us? <laughs> Wait, Nick, what's, what's going on with your menu? Should I shine a light on it? Well, I can tell it's stuck to the menu on top of it, so. Are uh, you ready, you ready? Let's hit it. What do we see that? Oh. Is it brown or is it pink? Enjoy guys, it's our last year. We come here every year and do like our official Marcos Haunted Forest St. Louis dinner here. Sadly, something has happened since we were last here. We go down those stairs and they're carpeted. Yes. Yeah. I've never had sticky carpet. Yeah, or slippery carpet. <laughs> this might be the stickiest table. This is like Spider-Man. He can stick to a wall. With you guys didn't write scooters? You can draw in the grossness with your nails. Are you writing my name literally in the grossness? <laughs> There we go, and all the slime here, it says Kevin now. It's like macaroni grill where you draw on the table. You wanted a good story, right? This is why we're here. I'm all about a good story. Nick got a new menu. What's the menu update? <laughs> Don't put your yeah. thumb in the top yeah. left corner. Like, oh, what is that? Like make all of that work together? Yeah. Yeah. Scrape your menu. <laughs> no, scrape the menu. <laughs> and you'll get salsa. I've never been scared to eat a chip before. Why is it wet? Yeah, we're waiting. Here's a here's your guacamole you, you wanted to get this evening. It's kind of a, a darker guacamole. After you uh scrape away the beginning, it's still dark. Um <laughs> So good. Let's try, let's try a bite. How is that? Creamy. Oh, there's the. What are you eating? Queso over there, Nick? And then I told him about. Yeah, we got some queso. What the hell is this? I don't know what that is. Also, that is just. Here goes the Shrek sauce. What is that? Taste. It's just like like watered down guacamole, but it's one through spice and two. Cheers. We're gonna add to our sticky glasses. That's right. <laughs> it's margarita time. When you go off on the manager, okay, wait till it's after we get our food. Okay. No, no. I don't, so, don't care. I don't care. This is what happened. Gumby made the reservation for 12 people two months ago. We haven't even ordered food yet. They're like, there's a private party coming in. You all have to be out of here in like an hour. Uh, we, we love coming here. This is something we've been part of. Are you tell me? that we have to be gone in an hour? There's an earthquake right hey, now, where it goes. If Allison was here, she'd be very upset because she's from Texas and Tex-Mex is her life. Uh, I don't know what this is. This looks like a salad. This just looks sad. I asked the server, I was like, what's better, carne asada or chicken? You think carne asada, it costs more a steak? She was like, this. I was like, chicken? She was like, eh. So, this is, this is what we're doing. Oh my, okay, so. Here's a, here's a hard shell taco. It's very limp. It's leaking out its bottom. That is not a must. Toilet paper is a must. Hand sanitizer is a must. Hand wipe is a must. Do we finish? Where were we? Yeah, Rosalita's. I don't have anything good positive to say about that place at all. Uh, the only positive part was uh, I made a memory. A very uh, interesting memory, let's just say that. I, avoid that place at all costs. That's that's all I gotta say. Yeah. Later. Hi, uh, yeah, we're hopping back to the uh, expo right now. You guys are probably wondering, Kevin, why didn't you do the interviews that you said you were gonna do? Uh, I kinda got like food poisoning. Oh! Oh, it's vomiting, no! I'm just kinda going through the motions right now. It's, it's been pretty rough. Sorry, no interviews. We'll bring the interviews back for um, Megacon. Uh, uh, hopefully the rest of you gets a little more exciting. I'm, I'm just, I'm struggling today. Hey. We're trying to go up from the restaurant and there's literally poop right there. <laughs> literally poop. 
poop right there. Okay, close it. There's some wonderful advertisement on this building. I don't. Wanna, I wonder how old it is. It says pants on it. Now our journeys are coming to an end. This is one of the strangest cities I've ever been in. So it's downtown, it should be popping. It's like, it's empty. There's like no one in the streets. Somewhere there's traffic. From the small town that I grew up in, right? It's busier than this place. At every single restaurant, I would say there's half dozen restaurants. In downtown, the rest are all shut down. And there's no one here. It's just strange. Like there's, oh, there's, there's one car. Everything is just up for lease here. Or it's just like all abandoned, closed up. Wood covering all the windows and doors. It's March right now and they have Christmas decorations still up. How strange. Now the carriages we just saw go by, they're playing heavy rap music out of it. I would think it'd be like sweet, you know, Beethoven or something. No, they're playing heavy rap music in a carriage. So you're the LLC. And welcome to St. Louis. Get in, we have burgers. I love the architecture on this building with this small little apartment complex right next to it. I feel like that made me sound really old, like appreciating architecture. Because as a kid, I wouldn't care what a building looks like, but now it's like, Oh, I enjoy the variety of that building right there and the window design. Good job. Does anyone else really appreciate architecture now, the older that they get? Okay, so you wanted to show me- This is the biggest bull balls you'll find anywhere in St. Louis. They're right here. So there's a bull versus a bear. Okay. All right, now Gumby wanted to take me to the arches, or I thought we were going to McDonald's, but we're just going to one arch. Welcome to the west. This is the main Louis landmark arch. here? Rosalita's Mexican food and the arch. Those are the only things here in St. Louis. The Bear arch, the if you dog. notice, is the little teeny tiny structure behind me, the gateway to the west. I didn't know that it's a uh, national park. Gateway Arch National Park. There's just this pathway with all these trees. All right, now, I love this, right? You got a nice pond and the trees. And you look over here, and it's just like, what is that, a mill? What is over there? Uh, that's the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River covered by a mill. Oh, oh, and casino. That's a little confused because it says casino, kings at queen. A little shot of the bridge and the scenery. There's the casino they were talking about, just this lone little casino. And then over here, they have helicopter tours. So here's the arch. Apparently you can do tours. The tours are all sold out, but they put you in a, like in a little elevator escalator thing that takes you all the way to the top. There it is, the arch. It's cool. I will say super peaceful. Large amount of land, a lot of families just hanging out, relaxing, picnicking. This is, this is a really nice place. Probably not my favorite city to visit. There's not too much here. There's like the arch. And um, the city museum, which is really cool. But St. Louis, I'm not gonna be putting it on my bucket list to like come back immediately. I'll come back for probably Transworld next year, but it's uh, it's nice. Here's a little view of the relaxation going on. Now, if you guys have ever been to St. Louis or live in St. Louis, let me know down in the comments what I should do next time I come back. What is the hidden little gems that are here in the city? All right, Gumby, why'd they build the archway here? Back in the day, like everything starts, the arch was built as, oh, I'm gonna f it up a little bit, hold on. Take two, take two. Back in 1992, Ronald McDonald bought all of the city of St. Louis, and he started by putting up one arch. He was gonna do a second arch until he ran out of money. So this is the arch that we celebrate every year on June 29th, the McDonald's Arch in St. Louis. Right. Thank you, Ronald. I don't, I don't think that's true, but. Ronald McDonald never lied. So back in the day, of course, uh, St. Louis became a big mecca for transportation with the Mississippi River and a lot of different railroads. So to make a big deal about this being the difference between the, leaving the east, eastern shore, eastern area, and going into the west, it made this big arch for it be called the Gateway Arch, or the Gateway to the West. We walked all, all the way over here, we're like, oh, let's take a picture over here with uh, the arch in the back. Well, you get that view in the background. So I suggest if you want a photo, go to the kind of the other side and take a photo with the arch in the back background for you there. And then over there is the St. Louis Capitol. All right, we're gonna try to go into the uh, mu yeah, museum right now. The McDonnell family, McDonald. We're heading in, they have all these like project, pro are these LED screens? Or projections on them of kind of like nature and not the view that's outside currently so i'm nature boy well there's a fur trading post that was founded right here in st louis and this is the florida lee which was also founded by the small creole house here in st louis the gateway to the west st louis was founded in february 1764. this isn't very good animation this is like pre like 90s toy story animation here's my child playing minecraft <laughs> yeah. on the screen destiny of design who's this guy this is ronald mcdonald <laughs> i don't think that's ronald mcdonald putting up his first arch 1974 he decided st louis would be the arch 
continuum began in 1992. This is Ronald McDonald. Destiny or by design. You're right. It was the first McDonald's Uber's Eats. <laughs> it was gold and red, the carriage. Right, so this is what the riverfront used to look like. I'm guessing that's the uh, the DraftKings Casino. Wait, so what is cholera? Isn't that like a disease? Cholera. Oh, I thought, yeah. Cholera is a disease. I don't have that one. Why do we want to smell it? Are we smelling the person? It doesn't smell bad. It just, it just smells like old people. Yeah, but it's, it says the smells of it. Yeah. But yeah. it smells good. It smells like soap. Yeah. It smells of cholera That's smell like an LP hard. candle. I said, why did St. Louis look significantly cooler in like 1817 than it does now? Look at this. There's a river boat. It had it up front. It had all these great little houses. Now you come to the river, what do you see? DraftKings. This is all I see is honestly the top of the Velocicoaster. This is the view that you would see from your little window. It looked very like recently renovated, so it's a really cool museum. A lot of artifacts, a lot of things to look at. It's interesting because like the rest of the city is like boarded up and like abandoned, it felt like when we were walking around. But here it's like fancy and brand new and this is where all the tax dollars are going in St. Louis. It looks like the Florida Diaper Bandit has a copycat here in St. Louis. Well, we're on our way to the airport right now. Pa Paul's having a little sleepy, sleepy nap back there. Hi, everyone. Bye, Wave Kevin. Goodbye. St. Louis Airport has some of the nicest TSA agents I've ever met in my entire life. Like, every single one was so nice. Okay, a little update. Um, it's a little, there we go. Ah, uh, flight's been delayed again. Every single flight that I've taken, pretty much 2020 happened. Flights either get delayed, or they get canceled, or they get overbooked. Or so, snack time everyone. Cardi, she's got chips now. <laughs> she wants you to know, stay true to who you are. She wants to be very inspirational when you're eating these chips. They were on sale. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for Cardi, but they're uh, cheddar barbecue Cardi B chips. She's even got a little description on the back. So being successful in life and in the music business is all about being true to who you are. You wanna know something? When you, when you become a woman, when you are a woman, you understand what it means when your mom says to you, when your mom says to you, like, like you young bitch, you don't even know how to wash your ass yet. And it's true. Knowing your best self worth, never sweating the small things. Because the proper way to wash your ass is spread your butt cheeks, take one butt cheek, spread it, and then put your half of your finger inside your ass with a little bit of soap and just, and just wash that shit and always follow your gut instincts if you follow the true rule of thumb. Like, this how much of my finger goes up my when I wash it. Yep, nails and all that. It will never eventually create a recipe for success. We have all heard Cardi B talk. She did not say that quote. I don't know where she said that, but that was written by her PR team. Let's try this bag of air. It's kind of like a Dollar General cheddar barbecue chip. I wouldn't get these. I only gotta be as a Cardi. One of my favorite movies of all time is The Terminal with Tom Hanks, where it's the guy who lives in an airport. I always feel like that when you're, you're like delayed and need to be here for an extended period of time. We got a long night ahead of us. Okay, we have a lead. I asked you guys on Instagram, uh, is there any place to eat <laughs> here? And uh, we got a response. A couple of them. I, so I think I'm gonna go with what Nicole told me to do. She said there's an ice cream vending machine. Ted Drew's vending machine. We're gonna go find Ted Drew's vending machine. <laughs> Hopefully this is a thing. That's uh, let's go. Okay, it's that vending machine that we saw earlier on the trip with old man. Ted Drew's Missouri 66, the mother road. All right, well this man is selling it to me. He looks so happy. He's got a wonderful shirt, great model. It's a uh, frozen custard. I've never had frozen custard out of a vending machine. They have um, I think there's supposed to be spoons here. All right, there's no spoons here. Well, how, how do I eat this? I like how it's all like duct taped. All right, they have a bunch of different ones. Nicole said just go with the standard chocolate. I think it's odd that they're all the exact same color. They're all just white. And for a second, I thought this was $16, but it's A1. That's what you type in. Right, so we're gonna go with the chocolate concrete. Here it goes. It's going for it, it's going for it. What the heck? <laughs> oh, what is down there? You see that? Ew, what is that? 
Okay, here we go. Nicole, I hope this is good. Um, so it just says Ted Drew's frozen custard on it since 1929. I'd hunt down a spoon from another place. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this before the flight. How is this vending machine ice cream? That's pretty good. It's like a light chocolate flavor with a creamy smooth custard. If you're at St. Louis Airport and you're stuck here and trapped here, this is what you should get. 10 out of 10. It's a mess. Finally time. We're uh, finally loading. Okay, everyone, we are back. It is time to review Coca-Cola. First off, the older I get, the more like annoyed I get with things really quick. For all of time, when you purchase a drink from a store, you look through a piece of glass. For some reason, they wanted to put a TV screen in front of all the sodas. I don't know why. It, it plays a display, right, a, of like an ad, and then when you get close to it, then the screen pops up, and then it shows like what's there, but it's not the current stock. So you open it, and what's displayed isn't even behind it. Walgreens, why did you do that? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Like the Coca-Cola, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Let's let's try this. Is there any fun descriptions? No. It just says recycle me. It's a weird like kind of a red tint to it. Ah, it smells like 65 grams of sugar. Honestly, it pretty much just tastes like normal Coke. It's like normal Coke, but imagine a hint of like cotton candy at the bottom. So it's like Coca-Cola with extra sugar. I prefer the original Coke. It just tastes like a little bit of cotton candy on the back end of the taste. I wouldn't go out of my way to get this. Okay, I paused to check my phone literally 10 seconds later. There's an ad for Coca-Cola Space. Get out of my head, iPhone. What? Okay, I want to take a second to talk about Frontier. I've taken multiple fr Frontier flights this year. They've all been horrendous. I was middle seat, right, with two larger people next to me and, you know, so I'm like this the entire time. We sat on the tarmac for two hours. Since we were there for two hours, I needed some water. Water would be nice. So I went to like ask the flight attendant for some water and they're like, yes, we can give you some water. But uh, they gave me a cup with this much water in it. It was a miserable experience, but I made it home. I got to see my favorite art sculpture. Let me know down in the comments what horror stories you've ever had with Frontier. I wanna know. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be going back to St. Louis probably next year for Transworld also. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It really helps out when you guys do it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. Welcome to the family. You're gonna be so happy when you do because I'm gonna keep you up to date and all things spooky and scary and theme parks all across the country. All right, guys, I love you all. Please stay safe and I'll see y'all very soon. He carved into the, the grossness. Welcome to the family. With his finger. Uh, does anyone have a quarter for this man?